Your side's Marcelino Benito joins us live now from the Hardesty substation to tell us about law enforcement efforts. Jennifer, Tucson police wrapped up their final press conference of the evening just a few hours ago. Now, throughout the whole course of this investigation, Tucson police have been very careful with the details of the case that they reveal to the public and to the media. But new tonight, we hear from a next door neighbor who tells us exactly what she heard outside Isabel's window early that Saturday morning. All of this while Tucson police continue to work a case that continues to baffle this community. As day five comes to a close, still more questions than answers from police. More importantly, still no sign of Isabel. At this point, you know, we don't want to give up hope. We don't want the family to give up hope. We don't want anyone. You know, our goal right now is hoping that Isabel is, is okay and out there and that we can find her. The fact is leads are still coming in, but the pace is slowing. And tonight, Nine on Your Side uncovered new details about what may have happened that Saturday morning. Do you remember anything bizarre from that night? Yeah, at, uh, well, at 6.30 in the morning on uh, Saturday, I woke up. My dogs were going crazy. Their dogs were going nuts. And um, I remember briefly waking up and hearing male voices outside my bedroom window. But it was light outside. I didn't really think anything of it. But now it's all Alicia Stardevant can think about. She lives in a guest house right next to the Sellis family home. Her bedroom window right next to the window to little Issa's bedroom. It just seemed like normal talk. You know, again, I wish that I had sort of paid it more attention to it, but it just seemed kind of normal to me. I'm pretty sure that's when it happened. We asked TPD about Alicia's recollection of events from that morning. Of course we're looking at that. You know, we're not making any assumptions based upon that. There is a huge amount of information out there. You know, you're talking about one piece, let's say, of a 500-piece puzzle. For the fifth day in a row, police aren't releasing details of what those other puzzle pieces may look like. The search continues in the sky, in washes, and door-to-door. -door, but the number of officers out there has decreased. So information like this, any tip, is becoming more critical by the hour. My opinion, I don't think really matters, but I... What I would get from it is because I didn't hear her, I didn't hear screaming or anything like that, I, I would think that it's someone close to the family or someone that she knew. Either that or she's a really, really deep sleeper. Now, police can't stress how important any piece of information is to their case right now. No matter how insignificant you might think it, it might be police need your help. So if you haven't heard from police, if they haven't knocked on your door and you have any clues that can help them track down this little girl, they're urging you to call 911 or 88 crime. And we should mention the next update TPD has scheduled is for tomorrow at 8 in the morning. For now, we're live in Midtown. I'm Marcelino Benito, Kega 9 on your side. Gosh, you know, Marcelino, listening to that neighbor's story is a little chilling, maybe that will help trigger some kind of memory for someone else. And in the meantime, we were talking about this FBI team that's in town, uh, this behavior analysis unit. Do we know what, if anything, they've helped uncover? Well, if they have uncovered anything, TPD is not sharing it with the media at this point. What the chief did say tonight is that unit was expected to interview the family. That, for whatever reason, will not be happening at this point. They'll be observing the family to gauge their reactions and see how they're interacting with other people, but no interview at this point. They also asked the chief about whether they'd bring in psychics, which is sometimes an approach that they take in this case. He says they still have a lot of information to sift through before they even consider bringing in psychics to help out. All right, Marcelino Benito, thanks so much for that report.